Welcome guys to this video. This is Automation Gizmo channel. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to communicate through the Modbus protocol. So Modbus, it's a third party protocol whereby you can send where you can send data. It's not proprietary to only Siemens, it's open source. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use Modbus. Okay, so the first thing is I have a PLC project corrected already, and um, this is it. The IP is the 1511 PLC. I'm going to, and the IP address is 192.168.0.10. I'm going to be using a PLC simulator, which is PLC Team Advance, to, to simulate my PLC. So, yeah, I would say it's Modbus tutorial. I'll just give it an instance name, Mobile Tutorial. The IP address is of the PLC is 192.168.0.10. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Okay. And I'll start. Okay. Then I'll download into my simulator. Start the video. Okay. So I think the PS is running now. Yes. So creating a mobile block. So in this tutorial, we'll be doing um this PS first as um tcp server no tcp client we'll do client first and then we'll do server so this is um clients so going to others you're going to see mobile tcp so yeah i'll pick clients It's going to give you a pop up for you to create a data block. So I press OK. And then I have a lot of parameters here to configure. OK. So one thing I want to do is for request, I like to put it on the rising edge. Rising edge is like a clock bit. So it's M0.5, which is clock one edge. So this one is, is one second. So disconnect is which bit do I want to disconnect it? So I can just give it a bit. Now I'm done busy error status. I've created um, some um, parameters in the internal block. So for this, so done busy error status. So I'll do done busy. Error status. Okay. Now, MB mode. What is MB mode? So if I press function F1 on my keyboard. It's going to open up MB clients. This me this is a description of the block. So now it says MB mode. If I click on MB mode, it says that when the mode is zero, we are reading, reading for remote um, address. And when the mode is one, we are writing. So. The PLC will want to read from a server. So I'll put zero here. 
now mb data address it says for data address this is what do you want to do um in this tutorial i'm just i'm not going to explain everything i have in the official description of this tutorial i put it is um a link to an article where i explain what all these parameters mean what mobile's function code is so this mb data address now this is the function code what we want to do we want to read now where are we reading from 40,001 to 49,999. 49, so I can be mode zero. So it means I'm reading one to 125 coding registers. So this is 40,001. That is the data address I want to start from. This means that I'm reading from the first integer. So I'm going to be reading from the first integer. So when it's 40,001, it's the first integer. So now, where, where are we starting from? So I want to start from 40. So 40,001, let's confirm. So 40,001, so this is mobile's data address. Now, data length, how many data do I want to read? How many do I want to read? So for example, I want to read 25. So it means I'm reading from 40,001 to 40,026 in the data address. So that's where I'm reading from. Now, mobile's data PTR, this just means where it's this data going to be stored. So I want to create a data block now, call it mode bus data. And call it data array of one to 50 of integer so i want this data to be stored here yeah so i'm going to drag this here yes oh it's not working so so what i, I can do is what was data data no yes so selected my data now connect now this is the connection parameters to my server this is the client block so where's the server what's the connection parameters that will enable the client to connect with the server so i'll create another data block and call it parameters now yeah i'll call it i'll call it connect and the parameters so the data type for mobile parameters in s7 here was is, is c con underscore ip v4 yes so t con underscore ip underscore v4 and this is going to bring out the connection parameters of my um how to con connect do the connection parameters of my mobile block now we're going to configure this now interface id it means what is hardware identifier of the internet yeah, in uh, ethernet interface so add up to device configuration here click here that's on the um, ethernet port come to system constant now it says local profit interface id 64 hw interface it is 64 so i'll come back to parameters and put 64. now what's the id you can give it any number you want i want to use two so this would be the connection reference or identifier so siemens we know that connection two for this plc is mode bus communication now what's the connection type 11 is tcp IP 19 is UDP. Now 16 ash 0 B B is 11. So we're using TCP. So we'll leave this as it is. Active established. I want it to be active. Since now remote address. What's the remote address of my server? What's the remote address of my server? 
Now, I'm going to be using a Moodbus simulator for this tutorial, and um, which would be my system. So the IP address I'm going to put here, it's the IP address of my system, which is acting as a server. So if I check, it's 0 0.20. Which is this is Siemens PLC SIM virtual Ethernet adapter, which is what we are using for PLC SIM advanced PLC SIM virtual Ethernet adapter. So this has to be in the same subnet as your PLC. So this is 192.168.0.20. Now, if I have a physical PLC or a physical device, which is Moonbus compliant. Here will be the IP address of the PLC of um, the device which is acting as the server. Now, what is the remote port of the server? Smooth so boss is um, for Siemens, the default port is 502. Now, this is the default port, it could be 503. But for default, it is 502. So with this, we've done the configuration. So we can compile. So there's an error somewhere. Oh, oh yes. So we we'll have to link the connection parameters. So it's parameters dot connect. Then no. Then can compile. Then we can download. Okay, so we've downloaded. Now I'll launch my Moodbus server, which is Moodbus Slave, which is my simulator. Okay. And then I will do the parameterization setup. So I want my slate to be zero to hundred. So you can see PSC address forty thousand at one. So I'm starting from zero to hundred. Now you what you are reading your master, which is your server, your your client, your address of your client. What you are reading should not be more than what is contained in the master. So we're reading um twenty five twenty five for data length integers so i want this to be 100 100 holding registers so these are holding registers and then i'll do the connection parameters so i using tcp and um, the ip address is 192.168.0.20 so you can see the port is already 502. So, but mode both default port, like I said, is 502. But you could use 503 or 504, but the default is 502. So I'm making this, um, I'm using the default. And this is the IP address of my system, which is acting as the server. I press OK. To allow access so that this is my server. So fine. So I will put some values here. 56, 12, 45, 7. Remember, we're reading um, 25 um, holding registers. We're reading 25 holding registers, 78, 33, 79. Okay. Now, I'll head up to my PLC and see if I'm getting these data. So we was data here and a monitor. So you can see I'm getting the data from the simulator set software, which is acting as Mobus server. So now, so in this, so we'll be able to configure our S7-1500 as Mobus TCP client. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Please subscribe and share.